What's up, everybody? It's Jarvis from Strong Dragon Training, back again on another Strong Dragon Files episode. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about something that is great for a snack, something that tastes sweet, tastes amazing. It's like pudding, but it's a very, very, very healthy version. Before I get into that, if you like these videos, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I have my uh, YouTube channel. Strong Dragon Training, my Facebook, Strong Dragon. Give me a follow there. I post a lot of interesting little workouts, little recipes, uh, little tips and tricks of how to make your workout, your nutrition, your diet, everything just a little bit better. At least give you an idea to go into the right direction if you're stuck, if you hit a plateau, or if you just don't know what you're doing. With that being said, back to this little delicious thing. Um, earlier, Today, I've uh, posted on my uh, Instagram page, which by the way is at D-R-A-G-O-S-M-U-T-A-S-C-U, a, a uh, little recipe about this thing over here. There's three steps. So what's in here? First and foremost, Greek yogurt. 0% flavorless or plain rather, Greek yogurt. I prefer that. Now, if you guys want to get a little bit of flavored yogurt, I highly don't recommend that because of option or step number two rather, which is protein powder. So if you get flavored Greek yogurt and you have flavored protein powder, unless it's the same flavor, you're going to have a little bit of a crazy explosion of flavors in this little uh, treat over here. So what I recommend and what I always do is plain Greek yogurt, 0% milk fat, Greek yogurt, mix it up with a spoon or scoop rather of your favorite protein powder. Now I generally go with uh, chocolate flavor. I went with vanilla. This one in particular over here is uh, mocha, coffee mocha. So it's absolutely delicious. I love these. Uh, it's a little bit of a uh, snack, especially after a workout. Sometimes I end up working out very late. So um, by the time I get home, I don't really want to have a full meal and go to bed with a full stomach. So this is essentially my protein serving with a little bit of Greek yogurt. Again, generally my workouts are uh, heavy, they're strong. So this Greek yogurt is going to give me that uh, little bit of uh, carbohydrates that I need. Um, obviously, we have zero milk fat and Greek yogurt has insignificant amount of fat in it. So I'm not really worried about the fat content in that, but then there's a high content of protein in it. And then I add my scoop full of 25 grams of protein on top of that. So I really have an amazing little meal to give to my muscles to feed them right after the workout. So this really is excellent for anybody, whether you're looking to lose weight, whether you're looking to gain muscle uh, or just being fit, or even when I'm prepping for a show. Unless I'm in my peak week, where I put a quantity on everything. And by the way, for me personally, if I do any kind of uh, dairy or um, I try to eat anything like yogurt, things like that, I, uh, I bloat right away. So when it comes to peak week and my body is such a sensitive uh, state, I, uh, I blow up. I uh, bloat, I, I look like a little balloon. But uh, when I'm not worried about that, or when I'm maybe three months out or two months out, or I'm just off season looking to bulk the other muscles, uh, this is my go-to meal. Because sometimes I have such a craving for sweets. I, I, I would just go to the first uh, Tim Hortons and grab myself a bag of donuts if I could. But um, this one, I always try to have a, a box of Greek yogurt handy in the fridge. I always have endless supplies of protein in my house, so I'm never worried about that. But when I have that sweet craving, I quickly take a couple of tablespoons of uh, Greek yogurt, throw in a scoop of uh, protein powder, what I feel like chocolate, what I feel like vanilla, uh, coffee, I have s'mores flavored protein, I have uh, um, or uh, lemon meringue uh, protein powders. I have, I have tons of protein powders in my, uh, in my arsenal, so I'm never worried about uh, the different flavors. So whatever flavors I feel like having that day, I just go ahead, throw a scoop in, and I am just killing those cravings. Like after I'm done with one of these uh, bowlfuls of it, I do not crave sweets whatsoever. And the other best thing about this part is I have a two, three times a day, four times a day. Every single time I crave sweet, uh, if I'm not having a meal, if I'm not having a fruit, I just go back to this one and it has that creamy flavor. So it's not really like uh, when you're eating an apple or a banana um, or a peach, you know, you have that fruit that, um, that uh, it's a very unique, you know, 
taste and feel when you're having a fruit, whereas this one is a creamy flavor. It, it feels and it tastes like your artificial crab that you can buy from the store, which is very bad for your health, especially if you're trying to lose weight or you prep for a show or you're just trying to stay healthy overall. So there is, I'm using the highest class protein powder. And of course, don't get me wrong, if you go to a crappy protein brand and you have like 10 grams of sugar in it, then you're defeating the whole purpose. But you get a good quality protein, you get a good quality uh, Greek yogurt, and you're set and good to go as a little snack to have throughout the day. Healthy, uh, very high in protein, very good in uh, in carbohydrates, so it's not very high, but it's just the right amounts. For example, this um, uh, Greek yogurt that I'm having, I'm looking at it right now, it is 8 grams of carbohydrate per 3 quarters of a cup. So just to give you guys an idea, I found that this brand in particular, it's not overly expensive, it's a very good brand, I don't have to go the Oikos or whatever's out there, which is about $2 more expensive. This one is generally about $3.99, sometimes $4.75, depending how you find it, but uh, I find that it's very tasty, it's very good, so it's really up to you guys what brands you like and how picky you are. But for me, this is a, a very good brand, it's only 8 grams of carbohydrates and 18 grams of protein per 3 quarters of a cup. So it's really not bad. I can't really go bad with that one. And uh, my protein powder that I use, the uh, All Max Protein, um, very good tasting, very good quality. Um, it, when you put it in water or in milk, it dilutes very uh, well. So you don't have that clumpiness effect of it. Uh, 25 grams per scoop, one gram of uh, sugar in it, carbohydrates, uh, one gram as well. So you really can't go wrong with that. Try it out, guys. See how it is. Mix the different protein flavors out there or pick your favorite protein and let me know how you like it. Drop some comments below. Tell me if you tried it. Tell me how you like it. And maybe give me some ideas. Hey, maybe you put some fruits into this. Maybe you throw some berries, some bananas, some apples. Whatever you guys like to do, I prefer to eat it plain, but the options are endless out there. Try it out. Maybe give me some ideas of what you guys have experimented with and you found that it tastes really good. I'll be looking for those comments. Thank you for watching this video guys. My name is Drago from Strong Dragon Training again. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. We have many more videos, vlogs, educational exercises, and way more Strong Dragon Files videos that I've already posted and I'm going to post way more going forward. Just little tips like these, a couple of minutes to give you guys an idea of what you could do if you're stuck with food or if you're craving things and you can't really have because you're on a diet, etc, etc, etc. I'll catch you guys on my next Strong Dragon uh, Files video. Stay fit, stay healthy, strong dragon training, the flame of fitness.